Welcome to Aurora Chemistry for everyone. Let us analyze how to draw that molecular orbital diagram of oxygen molecule. Oxygen atomic number is 8. So from that we can write that electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. When two oxygen atoms combine we get oxygen molecule. So for oxygen molecule to write that molecular orbital configuration sigma 1s2 sigma star 1s2 and then for 2s orbital the same way sigma 2s2 sigma star 2s2 then for p orbital we have that three atomic p orbitals so when they combine we get that six molecular p orbitals so they are in the order so after writing sigma star 2p sigma star 2s2 we go to write sigma 2p z pi 2p z 2 then pi 2p y 2 count the electron 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 but we want that for oxygen 16 electrons so we need that to draw for pi star 2p x1 then pi star 2p y1 now using this we can draw that molecular orbital diagram and also we can see that the type of bonding in oxygen molecule we go to show that only 2s and 2p orbitals so in 2s we have that two electrons and this is for that another atom when these atomic orbitals combine they form molecular orbitals so low energy molecular bonding molecular orbitals we go to draw the same way high energy anti-bonding molecular orbitals first that electrons enter into bonding molecular orbitals so here two electrons and then after that it goes to high energy anti-bonding electrons so this is sigma and this is sigma star this molecular orbital in the same way for 2p orbitals the number of electrons in 2p orbital we have four electrons in one atomic orbital of 2p orbitals in the same way for that another atom bonding and mo anti-bonding molecular orbitals so here First we go to draw sigma 2p z, sigma 2p z then after that pi 2p x and pi 2p y orbital high energy antibonding molecular orbital then after that sigma star 2p z, sigma 2p z and pi 2p x pi 2p y equal energy the same way pi star 2p x and pi star 2p y equal energy then sigma star 2p z so when these atomic orbitals combine first that electron enter into low energy sigma 2p z so two electrons then after that it enter into pi 2p x. next it will go to how many electrons are remaining two 3, 4, so 4 plus 4, 8, here 2, 4, 6, so remaining 2 electrons, so 1 in pi star 2p x and another 1 in pi star 2p y. So this is that molecular orbital diagram of oxygen molecule. From this we can write that bond order, Na number of antibonding electrons. So number of bonding electrons, 2, 4, then after that 6 8 10 so 10 bonding electrons are present in oxygen molecule now for the antibonding electrons sigma star and pi star comes under antibonding electrons so 2 then after that sigma star 2s2 4 any other way yes here 5 and then 6 so 6 so 10 minus 6 by 2 4 by 2 so 2 so bond order of oxygen molecule is 2 so it means that uh, the type of bonding in oxygen molecule is 2 
that is why oxygen exists as this way there is a double bond in oxygen molecule now we can find out that magnetic property x and phi star 2 py oxygen molecule has that one unpaired electron in each molecular orbital so it is paramagnetic so in oxygen molecule bond order is 2 so oxygen molecule can exist and then bonding two that means uh, there is a double bond in oxygen molecule and the magnetic property is paramagnetic thanks for watching